Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day on the Weight Watchers WW Personal Point program. If you are joining me for the first time here on my channel and specifically because you're interested in my Weight Watchers content, I will pop a link up here to my whole WW playlist. Um, and if you're interested in things other than Weight Watchers, I also have videos on beauty, skincare, uh, Peloton, uh, finances, there's a whole bunch of things. So feel free to poke around on my channel and see what piques your interest. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. Uh, so let's get into the what I eat in a day. And let me start out first by just explaining a little overview of my eating patterns during the day and during the week. So I am not a morning eater. It's not an intermittent fasting kind of thing because I do have calories in the morning because I have milk in my coffee. It's more just that I'm not super hungry in the morning and I personally feel much more fulfilled if I eat later on in the day and have bigger meals then. So what you're going to see is I have two meals in the day but they're a large um, lunch and a large dinner. I will also mention that the way that I tend to eat through the week is that Sunday, through Friday, I eat like at my points or under my points, generally a little under my points to bank some points because then on Saturday, I have like a date night, I have like alcoholic drinks, I have like a bigger dinner. So I like to uh, balance that out by building up some points during the week. Let's start out with my morning coffee. I'm not somebody who has a super fancy like coffee brewer or like Keurig or an espresso or anything. I have a a uh, coffee pot that I probably picked up at Canadian Tire because I drink a fair number of coffees through the day and I prefer to have like uh, both less waste and also not spend as much on the coffee if I was buying it in individual pods. So what I like to do is lately I've been using 1% milk, I'll either use 1% or 2%. And this seems a little finicky, but I tend to weigh it out on my scale because I put in basically three tablespoons of milk, uh, which is 45 grams, and it's just as easy to pop my mug on my little kitchen scale and measure, and that just helps me keep track during the day. So I'll do three tablespoons of milk, and then I put my mug in the microwave for 30 seconds to get the milk nice and hot. For Christmas, I was gifted a little handheld milk frother, which is amazing. So when the milk comes out of the microwave, I use my little frother to froth it up. Uh, it does two things. I feel like it gives it a slightly different flavor because of the aerated milk, uh, but it also makes my coffee stay hot longer because the milk isn't cooling it down. Um, and so I've really been enjoying using that. And then right now for the sweetener in my coffee, I'm using a skinny syrup uh, caramel pecan flavor. Uh, I sometimes used to pick these up at Winners. I've also, this one I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I've been using it lately instead of like my equal artificial sweetener and I've been enjoying it. Although I usually just use like a half pump because it is very sweet. Uh, and then at that point I top it off with coffee and I'm ready to go. I do drink three or four of these mugs during the day. So it's either two points for nine tablespoons or three points for 12 tablespoons, depending on how many cups of coffee I have. I'll also mention that through the day, I do drink uh, at least 64 ounces of water, usually closer to 100 ounces of water. So I do end up getting an extra daily point for my water consumption. Moving on to my lunch and dinner, I do have uh, avocado that I eat half in one meal, half in the other, and I just wanted to mention how I prepare it because I'm basically just making like mashed up avocado, um, but I do something that probably seems a little weird, but it's super tasty. So I will uh, like cut my avocado and peel it, and then I will put into it some red wine vinegar or white wine vinegar, whatever I have. Uh, which probably seems strange, but I find that avocado is improved in flavor so much by adding some kind of acid to it and then like a lot of salt and some pepper and then I mash it up. And I know traditionally if you were making like guacamole or something, you would use like lime juice or lemon juice, but I really like that tang of the vinegar in there. So that is what I do uh, when I'm making my mashed avocado. I would, I would, I won't call it guacamole because like it's really just avocado, vinegar, salt, and pepper. 
So looking at my lunch overall, I basically have this lunch every single day and I don't get tired of it. So the center point of it there is my black bean chili. I've been making it lately with some extra lean ground turkey in it uh, for extra protein. And I will put a link down below in the description uh, to that recipe. I have that recipe here on YouTube. Um, the reason it looks kind of lighter in color is I do warm it up and then I mix into it a good amount, probably about a quarter cup of 0% uh, plain Greek yogurt, which is a zero point food for me. Uh, it just adds a creaminess to it in the same way that a sour cream would, but adds a bit more protein. Uh, and that chili is actually a zero point chili, but I get a point back for it because there is, between like the peppers and onions and the tomato, it is a cup of vegetables in that serving. Probably a little more than a cup, but I count one point back. Uh, and then also speaking of vegetables, you'll see there with it, I have just some uh, cut up cucumber and carrots. I just really enjoy having a cup of raw veggies with my lunch and I do get another daily point for that. And then the two pieces of toast you see there, uh, they are the sesame Ezekiel bread that I've put in the background. I keep, I really like that one because I like the flavor. It's three points for two pieces, so it's low in points. Um, but it keeps in the freezer and it toasts up really nicely and it really has a very nice substantial chewy um, taste to it. So I like that. One of them I have with about half of that mashed avocado on it. Uh, the other one I put a square of, or a triangle I should say, of laughing cow cheese. Right now I'm using the jalapeno cheese, that is one point. And then on both I sprinkle on some everything but the bagel seasoning. This entire lunch is four points, but I get two points back for it from the vegetables. And it is filling, it has a good amount of protein, it has fiber, it has healthy fat. Uh, so really this just really keeps me satisfied and every day I look forward to it. Moving on to my dinner, and this is the dinner I have been obsessing over lately. I am loving it so much. All of my dinners lately are built around a rice bowl because brown rice is a free food for me on the WW Personal Points plan. Um, what I've been doing is cooking up a batch of rice at the start of the week and then dividing it up into servings. Each serving is a little more, or each portion that I put aside is probably about a cup or so of the rice cooked, which is probably a little bit more than a serving, but I'm not going nuts with it, so I'm okay with it. Um, so what you see here is all the ingredients that I'm going to be using in my dinner. So you see there, there's the brown rice. Uh, in the foreground, you'll see the firm, extra firm tofu that I've pressed and cut up half the block into little squares. I'm going to put that into the air fryer just with a little spray of that canola oil spray you see in the back to um, crisp it up. And that goes in the air fryer for about 12 to 15 minutes, I think on 375. Um, and it gets really nice and crispy. You'll also see there some cut up uh, cucumber and some grated carrot. Uh, the cucumber is just half an English cucumber cut up. I do de-seed it so it doesn't get too wet. Um, and I just shred probably about a quarter cup of carrots, but that basically ends up being a cup of vegetables, which provides me another daily point. And then in the foreground is the other half of the avocado that I had earlier. The way that I prepare this is before I put the rice into the microwave to warm it up, I sprinkle it with a point's worth of seasoned rice vinegar. This really lets it taste like sushi rice because sushi rice is flavored with rice vinegar and with sugar. I don't add in the sugar, but I do put on some rice vinegar and usually a little bit of soy sauce as well. I will heat that up in the microwave until it's nice and steamy. And then I usually put the cucumber and carrot in with it for a little bit so that the cucumber and carrot aren't cold, they warm up a little bit from the heat of the rice. Uh, the other ingredients that I have there, the unlabeled bottle on the far right is Kewpie mayonnaise. It's a Japanese mayonnaise. From what I understand, it's basically made with, I think, apple cider vinegar, so it has a little bit more of a tang to it than regular mayo. Uh, but basically when I put my bowl together, which you'll see in a moment, I top it with some sriracha, uh, one tablespoon or four points worth of QP mayo and some of the everything but the bagel seasoning, which may sound strange, but it's basically sesame seeds and poppy seeds and a little bit of like garlic and onion, which goes really well with everything and tastes really good. 
So here you see the bowl put together. Basically there are five points in this bowl, four points from the mayo, and it looks like a lot of mayo there, but I do weigh it out on my scale. But the um, mayonnaise comes out in such a small stream that it looks like there's a lot more of it than there is. It's one tablespoon. Uh, and you can see the everything with the bagel seasoning over top as well as the avocado and it looks like there's a lot of rice but a lot of the volume is added by the cucumber and the carrot that's in there so the four points from the kewpie mayo the one point from the seasoned rice wine vinegar but then i get a point back from the veggies for this entire day i did use 13 of my daily points I also gained back four points, one from water and three from veggies. So I did at the end of the day end up with seven points left over, four of those will roll over. Three of them I could have used on a snack in the evening, oftentimes I will do air pop popcorn, however I wasn't feeling hungry for that last night so I didn't have it. Uh, but this is a pretty standard day for me. Um, and I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration for something you might do in your day to have a really satisfying, high fiber, a good amount of protein, lots of veggies, and some really good homemade meals. Um, I didn't mention this when I was showing you the dinner, but sometimes I will add in a pack or two of seaweed crisps for one point, because um, if you sort of spoon the uh, sushi bowl into the seaweed as you're eating it. It really makes it taste like sushi. I just didn't have any on hand and it's still absolutely delicious without it. At the very end of this video, I will pop up a screen with my points broken down for the day. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!